probably not on the clock. But yeah. About yeah. So what point does he leave us? He doesn't, well, he took the V1 up a lot. Oh, right. So how long have you been flying? Wow, how did you get into it? Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Side, down your right hand side. What will it, sorry? I've got a McLeod, you can't see it anymore. Ah, what was that? Glaring Glove. Ah, right, okay. So you know where you are. Sure, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm seeing that. Yeah. Alright, so we're nearly at 3,000 feet, so that's all going to come off. Yeah. So I'll put the release in the back and we'll just dive away and we'll try one of them. Okay, Jake. I'll get a lot quieter when it's going down. Yeah, sure. It does quieten a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a bit higher than when we went to Cambridge. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm from Lincolnshire, there are no hills there. <laughs> it's very warm. Yeah. Is that the greenhouse thing you were talking about on the video? It is, yeah, you've got these canopies and wow. there's a bit of sun. That's you, it. You, you cook. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And a little bit of lift here as well. So I'm going up here, yeah, 350. 
So what's lifting us? Is it the heat? It's or? the weird effect that Andy was talking about, the wind really? coming over the hill, yeah. bouncing up. Yeah. Yeah. An idea where there's lots of sunshine and get through the ground, then you know, that's when you rely on thermals. Yeah. So I suppose it's not been a very good summer, really. Not a good summer? Has it not been a good summer for gliding? <laughs> An understatement. Yeah. <laughs> Just terrible. Lucky we got off today then, really. Yeah, oh, hey, it's been a nightmare. Mm. Yesterday was a good day, but that was one in. Yeah, it was uh, warm. Uh, so there's the club, is it? No. Oh, there it is in that gap, yeah. yeah. So it's important that we kind of don't get too far away and that we always keep fish over the ground and sure. don't get too far downwind, otherwise, you're not getting back. That's what it is like today. It's easy because you see how quickly the gaps have been closing up and yeah. opening up. Yeah. Yeah. So you've yeah. got to maintain visual contact with the ground at all times. It's safer that way. We're, yeah, we, we do fly with clubs at the time, but you can have the right instruments in your glider there to be able to descend through cloud. Yeah. So what we're doing now, about 40 knots, is it? Yeah, we're just kind of flying a quite slow because obviously the faster I fly, the quicker you come down. Yeah. So I can fly as slow as I can. It stalls at about 36, 37 knots. Yeah. So if I keep it above 40, then I know I'm in a safe ball point. Now that's stalling a problem. It's very docile. If it stalls, you just put a stick forward a little bit and yeah. again you speed. These get they sort of open and close quick, don't they? Yeah. So does your GPS tell you where the <coughs> airfield is, or it did, you just know where it is? Well, I know where it is. Mm. Yeah, GPS will tell you, but actually, uh, the GPS in this player has been you need something wrong with it. They won't, it doesn't pick up any satellites. Or right, a bit like my satellite. <laughs> <laughs> It's got in the distance there, straight over the nose. Oh, right, I can see it. Yeah, all the Thirsk. buildings. That's Thursk. Okay. Yeah. Seven miles from Southern Seven miles. Yeah, you've got to be careful for around here is the other aircraft. I mean, you might have seen on the ground before we took off was this uh, powered aircraft that came out of nowhere. Yeah, sure. Descended out of the cloud, so you've got to have your eyes peeled. So do you roughly not have a schedule of what was around? No, I've got no idea. All oh, right. Yeah. Anybody, it's, it's open for free airspace, so anybody can come in through at any time. Is that first? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, it comes into view quickly, doesn't it? Yeah.
Should you have a little go? Certainly, yeah. I'm going to try to operate this small gap here. But yeah, it is small, isn't it? So you put your right hand on the stick and follow through with me? Yeah. Basically, the stick controls the elevator at the back of the aircraft, so yeah. forward and backward movement controls the airspeed. Yeah. The moving of forward and small amount, nice and gently. So you want me to do it? No, I'll come on with you. Okay. Just a nice finger and thumb job, that's all it is, though. Not, oh. a, death, not a death grip. Okay. So pushing forward a small amount, make the nose go down. Yeah. All ground in view, the bed accelerates. Yeah. Bring the back again, the nose comes up, that's ground in view. Now decelerate. You can see we're getting less than 40 knots now, and if you keep it that, you can that the bed will stall. So that's stalled, yeah. So when you keep it about there, yeah. For some ground in view. I see, so the top just on the horizon, sort of below. Yeah, well, yeah, not as much of a horizon like, but yeah. you don't pull that yourself, my hands are off, you push forward and back yourself. I've got it now, I've got it now. Come left a little bit, so left stick and left rudder. I'll come on with you to get us out of this cloud. Yeah. Just try and stay in the gaps. Okay, I want you to level the wings, so that means put the stick and rudder to the right, move your feet as well, hold in there till the wings are level, and centralise. Good. It's a little bit stick forward, just get a little bit more speed on. So it's oh, forward. yeah, yeah, I've got it. That's it. I'm going to come left now through this gap. So You want me to move left? I'll come with you. We'll move okay. quickly forward the cloud gets here. It's quite difficult, this wall. there's so much cloud around. Yeah. yeah. So if you just fly straight ahead of that. That's fine. It's opening a wee bit, isn't it, now? Yeah, just a small swap again. Yeah. Really. So there's the airfield. If you come left a little bit now, so left stick and left rudder. And then when you get happy with the angler bank, get everything back in the middle, and it'll keep turning. Oh, we'll keep turning? Yeah, but as you centralise it, it'll actually just keep turning. Oh, I see. Now, level the wings there, right stick, right rudder. That's it. And just bring the feedback again, so you're doing about 45. Just a slight movement. You're actually just going to, don't look too much at the airspeed in the key, then just make a small adjustment and wait for the speed to settle. Yeah. Stable, isn't it? You've just got to make really small It's corrections. small bits, yeah. yeah I think the thing is, is coordinating the... So you always move the rubber, rudder in the same direction as the stick. That's right, yeah.
So I'll leave you to try a left hand turn. We'll try and do a three, full 360 degree turn. Okay, now? So yeah, we always check, make sure it's clear to the left. So we want to turn yeah. and do. And then look over the nose as you turn. You try and keep them on the ground and do the same. So let's take left rudder. That's enough bank. So back in the middle now. And it should go around. A bit more rudder. And your speed will stay the same. And straighten. More left. I'll come right this time because the wind's actually from our, yeah. from our right hand side. We're going to get drifted back in this way. Uh, yeah. where, where am I heading for? Uh, I'll just tell you the left. Okay. Let's take a left one and just hold it there. And then level one, the wing level. That's it. Yeah, fine. You see, it's getting that balance between your hands and your feet. That yeah. Time. So what happens if you push... So when you move the stick with the rudder, as you turn and you bank, have you got to push the stick back to the centre but keep the rudder pushed right? No, well, you, keep the, you, keep, you, put, you bring everything to the centre. Okay. The rudder as well. Yeah. Right, we'll do a left hand turn here. Okay. Just a little bit more speed, so you know it's coming up, the speed's decelerating, that's it. Turn to the left now. Settle there. A bit more left. No, we're going to come right. We're going to do a full 180 to the right. Okay. And I'll set this up in the right uh, position for the circuit because we're down at 900 feet. Okay, no, yeah. Okay, we're on now. So we're kind of we're looking to be parallel with the gliding club. Yeah. Parallel, okay. Level out there, great. Take control there. I'll Certainly, take control. you have control. Some bang in the whiskey down went right to do it too. Yeah. the horse. Where's Ample for? Oh, it's kind of back behind the left. Ah, uh, it's behind us. That's Kilburn on you. Yeah. yeah. That's the uh, Ample yeah. back on the ridge. A bit of a clunk in a second is that with the blue lever. Yeah. Is that the air brakes? That's the one, yeah. yeah. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that, thank you.
the funny one, lots of clout to contend with. <laughs> yeah, it was actually because you just only had a small um, opportunity. It's funny because it looks totally different in terms of the gaps you can see. Because I'm looking and can't see any gaps. I know it's it's, it's changing all the time. I think so from the about, time we got down, it just closed. It's filled in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Lovely. So we made the best of a hard. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> no, no, I enjoyed, that was lovely. Yeah. So I don't need to disconnect now, do I? Twiddly it. Yep, got it. Yep, comes undone. And then if you leave your parachute on till you get out, just bring those two white levers back towards you that on the canopy. Got it, yeah, okay. There's one decided not to go, okay, there we go. And then just keep, keep a hold of them, because that puts your fingers off the canopy. You just lift, lift them up, yeah. Just put some weight on them. That's it. There's the fellow. <laughs> That's what the old ears going. Do you get used to that? Oh, I do. When I first started flying, it just happened all the time. Right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Yeah, I'm sure you'll see me again. Oh, if, so if you I remember now. You remember yeah, now. I want to. Uh, I mean, I want to learn. Yeah. So was it all right? Yeah, First good, go. good. Yeah, I mean, considering you're kind of holding your camera at the same time, not bad. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to YouTube. <laughs> <'Cause>, uh, <laughs> What's your name again? Ian. Ian. Uh, Thanks a lot, Ian. No. Uh, when we're flying, we keep we tend to keep one hand on the on the trim because you're constantly adjusting airspeed. So your trimmer, you move your trim, it just sets the speed you want. Right. I was I was just using the so stick. Yeah. 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 So you can get rid of those kind of stick I was interested coming down at the last sort of uh, the last sort of 100 uh -huh. where because my brain's saying oh the air brakes are on we're going to slow down but we're not really slowing it got no, to you, 60. You the speed on the speed's controlled by that yeah and the rate of descent is controlled by the air brakes yeah so i can put it exactly where i want with how much air brake i use i can touch yeah. down on, on a piece of paper yeah yeah when well, that comes with that yeah it's lots and lots of lovely Yeah, so you remember, and we've got people who come from, some people travel two and a half, three hours to get Well, we've got, I mean, it took us about an hour and a half, but we've got friends who live in Ripon, and oh, right. Edward C. used to live in Ripon yeah. before we married, and so she booked this here, because this is the first opportunity I've had. Now, we, we, we are living in, we are living in Lincolnshire, I know this club's there, but... Um, On good day, people travel from Ellis to get here, because it's probably one of the best clubs in the country. It is, because you get that. Got all the different types of lifts, got the best kit. So yeah, make, try and make it easy for Well, we are coming back up, so uh, so how much is it a, a session? Generally, you get towed up, it'll be about £30. And for what, about 20 minutes? Well, well that's just for your tour. It depends on your report. If you, if you kind of have a flight of, say, half an hour, it'll cost you about um, another 30 quid, so you're saying 60 quid maybe. Yeah. For, but we also got the winch. If it's winchable, you can get winched off under the, under the, under the hill here mm. for £7.50. And then you can be up for an hour Fantastic. and just like make cost you 15 quid. Brilliant. <laughs> so it just depends That's, on what so can, the Yeah, and... yeah. Well, thanks for taking the chance of getting up because it was. Uh, it was like an iffy, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah I enjoyed that. So. Uh, <laughs> thanks for being patient. <laughs> no, no problem. I mean, we're staying here overnight, so and we always thought, well, the, the possibly we could have had tomorrow, but we'd, we'd intended to stay over anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So wedding anniversary tomorrow. Oh, so. <laughs> bit of a, a bit of a notion of drinking, you know. Thought I'd get that out of the way after this. <laughs> All right.